Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm off to the wreckers to pick up a new motor for the Red Rocket. Alright, I just got back with the new motor for the Red Rocket. Here it is. It's hiding under here. Any guesses? This here is a 2009 Pontiac Montana engine. It's a 3.9 liter. They're rated at 240 horse and 240 foot pounds of torque. We're going to see if we get a little bit more out of that. We're going to see if we get a little bit more than 240 out of it once it goes in uh, Alero. No one has done this swap yet other than uh, Millsy Motorsports. They did one with a twin turbo and a um, cutlass I believe it was. But it had a complete engine harness swap from uh, another vehicle to run the variable valve timing. I'm going to be deleting the variable valve timing and using camshaft bearing spacers and a regular 3400 camshaft. That way I can run the stock computer. There will be a few obstacles along the way, but we'll figure them out. Maybe make this swap a option for more people who are looking for a little more power. Alright, some of the things I'm going to have to change on this motor to get this thing to work are you have to swap over the alternator from the 3400 if it fits that bracket we'll find out power steering pump most likely has to be swapped hard to say, you might be able to just screw on your own lines crank pulley has to come off we have to make something to Add in the crank sensor that sits behind the crank pulley because that is missing. The variable valve timing will be removed. Starter will have to be changed over from the 3400. Plenum, I'm going to use one from an LZ4 which is the, from the 3.5 liter. It basically bolts on here and gets rid of all your variable runners that are in the intake on this one. 
Uh, I'll have to make an adapter for the throttle body and switch it over to a cable throttle body. I'm going to use one from a 5.3 LS engine because it's similar in size. Other than that, uh, the exhaust will have to be customized. Uh, coils have to be changed over. Also, the injectors will need to be changed over either to something upgraded because uh, this uses a returnless fuel rail. It's just the feed line. This one here is for the EVAP. But uh, I'm going to add the 3400 fuel rail to it as long as it fits and swap over probably some 3800 supercharged injectors to start with. One other thing that needs to be done, this AC compressor needs to be changed over from either a G6 or it will have to have a mount custom made because on the 3900 it uses this uh, bolt hole here, the stud, and the one down here. The one on the, I believe the mount or the block. So that's another thing that's going to have to be changed. Another thing that has to be done have to make a custom mount for the driver's side on an M body. Uh, the Uplanders and Montanas use a mount down here, bolts to the subframe. There is no mount there on the Grand Am, Laros, and Malibus. Uh, they do use a mount that sits on the, or on the passenger side of the frame rail. It's right about here on the 3400. So I'll have to figure out something to support the engine on this side. The other three mounts are all bolted to the tranny, so I don't have to worry about those. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned for how this pans out. Thanks.